welcome! You're watching the thrift store one down, bringing friends home on a budget in a most special way. Sharing my highlights from the friends experience, the one in New York City, with you throughout the entire summer. And yes, we have reached our finale. And might I say, whoopa! At long last, the game that I've been searching for throughout my entire friends fandom has finally been tagged and banned. The one of the apartment bed game by Spin Master Games. It was originally priced at $14, then slashed to $9.99 at a Marshall store. And I managed to pick it up from Red, White, and Blue in Patterson for 50% off $2.99. I mean, come on. $14, bucks, I got it for $1.44. I call that pretty snazzy. I was going to do the Entertainment Weekly Ultimate Episode Guide, but then I saw this at Red, White, and Blue, and I knew I had to revisit Modern Dead and Rachel's apartment because a game similar to this that I found and was definitely lucky enough to find, the Friends game by Character Games Limited, was a major bust. It had no instructions. This has instructions, putting you in a state of Unagi. Self-awareness. Then again, it could be that salmon skin roll you might be eating as you're playing this vastly superior improvement to that game. I would advise you not to do that, but it's your game now. And it's your apartment on the line if you so choose. You can do whatever you want. But before you go ahead and do that, let's show you how to play the one with the apartment bed game from Spin Master. Do you like trivia? How about friends? That's perfection. Introducing The Friends, The One with the Apartment Bed Game, the fun, fast-paced trivia game based off the hit TV show. Find out if you're in the ultimate Friends fan zone, or relegated to revamp roommate styles. So how do you play? Could the game be any easier? No, not really. Show you're the ultimate Friends fan by answering the most questions in five rounds. It's simple. Split into two teams. Create a fun team name like the Paleo Know-It-Ologists, Phoebe Smarty Cats, Joey Triviani, the Rachel Queens, Chandler Bing, that's correct, or team one. Then write what you're wagering. Great, let's pivot to gameplay. Flip a coin to see which team goes first. The winning team is team one and chooses a question from these four categories. Pet peeves, ancient history, literature, or it's all relative. Team two asks the question and anyone from team one can answer. Once a question is asked, mark an X in the category on the game board. Each team must answer two questions in each category, so eight questions in all. Score one point for each correct answer and mark it on the back of your team's card. Once both teams have answered, it's the lightning round. Team one chooses a player to read the questions, another to keep score, and the remaining players answer the questions. When ready, grab a lightning round card, flip the timer, and go. Score one point for a correct answer, and lose one point for an incorrect answer. But no skipping questions, you have to answer them all. Answer as many as you can before the time runs out. Then it's Team 2's turn. So, how do you win? Everybody wins when you're playing with friends. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Just kidding. What a terrible finale that would be. The team with the most points after five rounds of trivia wins it all, bragging rights, and the other team's wager. So maybe you do win by playing with friends. Friends, the one with the apartment bet game is out now. Are you an Ultimate Friends fan? It's the game created over a duck and a rooster for two to six players ages 14 and up because as we all know, Friends is most certainly not a kids program. Alright, we're gonna open this up. And as I said, there are the instructions. Now you don't really need to read that because you just saw the gameplay video. But, just in case you're still not aware how to play this, we'll give you 10 seconds as we always do to look over this one-sided instruction seat. All right, 10 seconds. There you go. And besides the single instruction seat, we have here one dry erase game board, one cardboard stand, two jumbled dry erase cards. Those are your team cards, boys versus girls, you know, battle of the sexes. Two dry erase markers for each of those cards. Two plastic stands, 250 question cards divided into four categories, as you just saw. A share timer, the best kind of timer around, and these instructions. It's time to show what you know about friends by playing the real life game based on the one played in the episode, 
the one with the embryos. A classic for a reason, folks. Four categories and a lightly fast, lightly round of Friends trivia will prove which team is the ultimate in Friends fandom. Call yourself a Friends fan? Stick around. Anyway, these are the four categories. And we have here, 4, 8, 12, 16 questions in all. That team's got to answer. Pet peeves, ancient history, literature, and it's all relative. As you can see, this is already used. Team name, place the wages down here. And of course, the other team was named the Chick and the Duck. So I guess it was a two-team, two-player team. <clears throat> that could wash off easily with some uh, water, right? Or maybe you could just wash off like this. No, I definitely need to take some water to this. Maybe a damp, warm cloth. Anyway, let's go ahead and sell you the cards in here. I mean, you already know how to play, so I just gotta sell you the, the components. This is the stand for this. We also have here the cards, literature. These are quotes and quips from friends. Pet peeves. I mean, this would be no less distinguishable from the lightning round, wherein you're learning general friends trivia, but at a more leisurely pace, you have here one question to answer for pet peeves, whereas in the lightning round, you have here a rapid fire, relentless assault of friends trivia questions that you gotta answer without skipping. Ancient history right here. Hmm. Ancient history. That's where you get to learn more about the friends themselves. And it's all relative. Well, that's where you get to learn about the friends, family members, and past loves. This is the washable uh, marker here. Pretty neat. Oh yeah, let's show you the team cards. We have here... A uh, team of girls, of course our girls, Rachel, with her signature do, Phoebe, and the love of my life, Monica, and the boys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, I guess? Oh well. Write down whatever creative team name you want to this battle of the sexist game, and the party's on. Oh yeah, we also have your scoring cards here. I mean, you just saw one. I don't know what it is now. It's buried in this uh, stack of cards here. And that's one gripe I have about this. Too many question cards. 250. Maybe 200 question cards would do ya. But I, this game has definitely been used. And this is too many cards. I mean, yeah, you can't have too much French trivia. But too many cards, well, that's a bit of a quibble because, well, when I opened this up, it was just a mess. I actually dropped a couple of cards when I attempted to replace the, the top of the box back. <laughs> but I tell you, the scoring cards are in here. Anyway, the sand timer is also in here, so let's show you that too. We gotta show you the sand timer, right? And these are your team stands. Your team card stands, anyway. You know my love for sad timers, right? So, everything's there. That's what counts. Everything's there. <laughs> Joey sees no evil, was hears no evil, and Chandler speaks no evil. I'm not going to say that the Character Games Limited creation, which was as seen on TV but never featured it like a proper infomuscle, then again, it didn't really need to be, but that game itself wasn't evil. But it was way more personal than the one with the apartment bed game. You can learn more about each other, the players playing the game, as opposed to learning about the friends in just a random friends trivia game. This is a little less personal, so you get a little less evil with the questions. But hey, the Raiders are fair game, meaning you can definitely be evil with those. You can play somebody's apartment on the line, it's not recommended, but hey, it's your game now. You can go with a sleepover at somebody's apartment. As for me, if I was to place the wager, oh, I know who I would wager. Oh, yes, Johnny McDade, listen carefully. You and I, for a date with Courtney Katz. <laughs> 
And what would you wager? A day with my mother? Sure, but she doesn't like rockers very much. <laughs> the back is pretty much the same as what the instruction sheet said at the beginning, and you get to keep your apartment. Pretty neat all around, and what a way to close out the Friends Experience series. All in all, I'd say four and a half out of five claps. I wish this was as personal as the previous game, but in short, this apartment bed game kicks the other apartment bed game's ass in knowing that you actually know how to play the damn thing. <laughs> so now that you know, why don't you go ahead and borrow a line from the Bachelorette and do the damn thing! But before you go on and play this, let me take a moment to thank you guys so, so much for watching this because needless to say it's been a ball to bring this entire experience to you. If you missed any videos in the Friends Experience series, I'll leave the playlist downstairs in the description below, as well as the more expansive Friends playlist, which will be filling up with more content in the months to come because the Friends content will continue around here. In the meantime, why don't we go ahead and pivot over to a montage of some photos that I took from the Friends Experience in New York City. I hope to return during the holiday season to finish up some unfinished business by showing you the fountain and the stairwell. You know, pivot. But in the meantime, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. And always remember, whether it hasn't been your day, week, month, or even your year, no matter what came before or what comes after, I'll be there for you. My fellow friends of friends, this vow, I guarantee. Check out more TSR by clicking on another awesome review like this one, top left. And be sure to subscribe by clicking top right. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.